Hello everyone, it is Coder Awesome Man 212 here, and welcome to a brand new series I've created called A Newcomer's Guide for the BT Craft Network. Now, I haven't posted a video on this channel in a long time, and there's a reason for that. I just haven't been able to get to it. Same with my channel. Don't worry guys, I'll be able to get that happening soon, and this is one of those videos to get back up on it. So, I can't wait for the start of this new series. Of course, videos like this will be updated in the future because the games are going to be a little different, right? Uh, probably in the future, so I'm going to have to update it. So yeah, and other than that, the final thing I gotta say is um, IP will be on the screen as always, same with the version you have to join in, and all other links will be in the description below to anything else in the video, or just in general, alright? Let's get right into the guide. All right, so for the start of a newcomer's guide for Super Cute Brothers today, we have um, right here in the hub, to get there is the first thing we gotta do. So um, just basically go wherever in the hub um, and then hover over your service selector, right click it, and then left click on the Super Cute Brothers icon, which is an ice block. You will be teleported to the server. Um, there's no spawn thing, so if you don't spawn on this block of, uh, on this redstone lamp, then just find a way to kill yourself if you're on the land, or just die in some way, so then you'll spawn here. Or if there's a staff member online, ask them to teleport you there if you're just on land, alright? And there's no void in sight that you can fall into. So then when you spawn here, you may notice four different sections in the um, lobby. Well, there's the play section, the help section, update section, and maker section. And if you're a newcomer, you're probably going to want to go to the help section first, which tells you many of the things I'm about to say. So like this section over here tells you about the game itself. So for example, and let me just say this now, this is basically like the super cute uh, Super Craft Brothers on Minecade. That's what Super Cute Brothers is. If you haven't played that before, basically, um, this and that game are a free-for-all based game where four players are pitted against each other. Well, a maximum of four. On here, it's a minimum of two players, but a um, minimum of two, max of four players, free-for-all battle with classes, last one standing wins, and you have five lives. That's basically it. Each class is given a certain... Um, way of fighting, so you'll get a certain weapon, maybe an ability or so, who knows, it's super cool, guys. And that's, that's basically the basic mechanics. Um, and then there's map functionality, basically, if the, you have any problems with the maps, that's what this, saying, this is saying here, or if you want to submit a map, then go ahead and go on the website to submit that, or report any of these problems to our staff and let them know. There's the website URL thing down here. If Even if you click it and try to click on it, it will not work because this is wrong. Just hold tab to see what the website is, which is also in the link below, or in a link in the description below, and it's on the sign here as well. So yeah, and then the final thing over here just says if you have any questions, go ahead and go on the website, whatever. So basically, get an idea of what um, we have for Super Cube Brothers here, and how it works. I'll get to showing you guys this soon if you're a newcomer. Uh, so basically, because there's not a lot of players on here, please join, because that'll make it a lot better for people who want to play this, especially newcomers. Then, basically come on with a friend and fight them as much as you can. Alright? Alright. So... That is basically the help section. Now, if you come over to here and I write and are like, all right, what updates have been posted? It'll tell you all the updates that have been posted. There's one not on here, which is the fact that we have um, removed star class and added TNT class. You can pause the video if you want to see what the rest are. All right, so <laughs> this is just where all the updates go if you want to see them. Then over here, this is where all the makers to every map are and um, basically a list of every map, so you'll be able to see who's made what. And then, of course, the main wall, the play wall, which is where everyone goes. 
So there's three different sections, server maps, which have been created by people who have been on the server for a while, like a long time ago, or by staff members. Um, community maps, which there's none yet, which of course, which is why there's a sign here that says submit your map today at BTCraft Network or BTNetworkEngine.com, that's the website. So you can basically go in single player mode, build a map, build a lobby, make a complete void underneath the map, and then you're good. Submit it, maybe we'll accept it. Um, our design team's maps will be accepted over yours if there's another one, like a ton of um, submissions posted and then a DT, like design team map is posted, we'll be accepting the design team ones for sure as long as um, it's not like bad or anything. So yeah, um, just keep that in mind. And then of course there's the dual maps, which is basically only two players can join. So yeah. Uh, that's basically it. Now, in terms of joining, this is where joining comes into play for um, newcomers. So, if you want to join a match, signs will most likely not work for you. And if you have a problem with permissions, you can tell me. But just saying, or you can tell any staff member, but mainly me because I can actually look at the permissions. But if you can't right-click a sign to join it, that's not a permission error. Well, technically it is because I can still right click it, but for some reason I can't fix it no matter what I've tried. So unfortunately what it's kind of at right now is you got to use this command down here, which is uh, slash scb join and whatever map number or not map number, whatever map, um, the, whatever map name you want. So like Egypt, for example, type it exactly the way it says on the sign, fire versus ice. Um, nature, whatever map you want, basically, and you will go into it. And then, if you ever can't right-click the sign in there to leave, you should be able to, to right-click signs once they're in there, you just can't use the join signs for some reason. Don't know why. Uh, but basically, if you can't use the leave signs in-game, type that to leave, and if you want to select a class and that select class sign doesn't work, just type this command and you'll be able to select one as well. Alright? So that is the commands if anything is broken for you, alright? <clears throat> alright, and uh, sorry about that. So now for newcomers with joining, just join whatever you, one you want, whichever one you and your friend want to try out on. And uh, say for example, let's go into the duel. Basically, here's a sign where you pick a class. Go ahead and just pick one of the classes, or you can leave this kind of preview of, of what it looks like. The lobby borders are actually short, so you can actually get teleported back here, but that's fine. That, not a really good looking map, I know, I made this on the fly, so. Anyway. These are all the classes as well. So once you're in a game, you're going to want to choose a class. Um, once two people join, a 30 second timer will appear here and we'll count down. Alright. So basically, um, we have VIP classes in here as well, but VIP isn't released yet because we need more people on here, hence please join the server and play the game and support it. And by supporting it, we mean getting other people online, because once the server is popular enough, we will be able to release VIP. So yeah, that's good. Anyway, um, VIP kits, which you basically can't use, and only some staff members and dedicated VIPs who I know, um, are Ender Dragon, Magma Cube, Wither Skeleton, Fox, and Ghast. Every other class you can use, but those five you cannot. Alright? So yeah, um, we've gone through and made sure most of the classes work, but I'll just kind of go through an overview of all of them for you, all you newcomers and for all of you who may just not know what the classes are themselves. But again, this is mainly a thing for newcomers. If you're not a newcomer and just watching this, go ahead and join, you know, just, just go ahead and test this out. So anyway, Ender Dragon, I'll just go over this for the staff, basically. Um, Ender Dragon, it has a very high jump height, so they're given jump, jump boost something, but they jump really high. Um, and also you can double boost, uh, double jump on this for every kit, no matter what you are um, in the game. Alright? 
So even defaults can do that. Just basically double tap space and you will do that. But that's only once you're in the arena. Alright. But that that is not changed for any of the classes. The jump height. So like jump boost is given to Ender Dragon. And they're also given a stone sword. Five Ender Pearls. And that's it. Then Magma Cube. Magma Cube has fire resistance. A sword with sharpness 1 and knockback 1. And a... Um, a 10 Magma Cube Spawn Eggs. Now, I haven't been able to get these to work for some reason. In fact, the Magma Cube Spawn Eggs end up just turning in into those spawn, literal spawn eggs, which you which you all know and love. Which are just plain white eggs, which just are named spawn, and that's it. I don't know how to fix it right now. Hopefully we'll get it fixed in the future, but I can't fix it right now. It's basically just a melee kit. Wither Skeleton is a kit where you're supposed to be able to one-shot kill and then take a lot of time to reload your bow. And you're also given a melee weapon of an Eye of Envy with Sharpness 1, Fire Spec 1, 5 Ender Pearls, and a Infinite Shooting Wither Bow, which does what I just said. Now, unfortunately, the instant kill feature is not actually true, and the reload's a lot shorter to make up for that right now. It's basically a buff version of Wither, which is right here. So, if... Uh, if you're a VIP and want to try using that, you can. And then, there is Fox, which is our custom VIP kit, which is basically, it has fire resistance and speed constant. Same with, uh, that's like how there's fire resistance with Magma Cube and Jump Boost with Ender Dragon constantly. Fox, basically, constant uh, fire, fire resistance and speed. It's also given a wooden sword of knockback one, and that's basically it. <laughs> It's basically that, like, a super weird type of class, so to speak. Well, in terms of just, it's like a ninja, we'll just say that. And now the, we'll just go to the final VIP class right now to get the VIP classes over with. So it's like we've done VIP classes first. Um, gas, melee weapon, sharpness one, knockback one, gas tier. Ranged weapon, a bow with, I believe... Power 1, Punch 1, and Flame 1, and Infinity, I think. I'm probably wrong on that. I don't have that memorized. But, um, yeah, I think it might just be Punch 1, Flame 1, and Infinity. I think that's all. So, <laughs> that is what Ghast gets. Uh, and you're also given an arrow. So it's, it's really kind of overpowered. You don't get any special effects with it. Other than that. So then, of course, you have Creeper. And Creeper, um, you're given one stack of po splash potions of harming per life, along with a sharpness one knockback one gunpowder, and five TNT, which you can right click to um, place on the ground and just have them explode. That's basically all Creeper is. It's, it's super cool. It's the coolest class out of them all, probably. And then there's Enderman. Um, and all of these have leather armor, except they have a custom head. So just to let you guys know that, alright? So, all leather armor, armor, except for a leather helmet, and they're given a custom head instead. Enderman, 64 stack of Ender Pearls, and a Sharpness 3 knockback 1 Eye of Ender. Wither. Nether Wart with Sharpness 1, Knockback 1, an Infinite Shooting Wither Bow, and uh, that's basically it. Spider has a 25% chance to cause poison to, to someone when they hit them, and they have constant speed. Cool, and it's also a Sharpness 1, Knockback 1 um, and, um, Spider Eye. Squid has a Sharpness 3, Knockback 1, Ink sack that it gets, and it has a chance of giving blindness to the enemy when you hit them. TNT, which is the brand new default class to replace the star, um, it's it basically uses the same feature of Creeper in terms of TNT. You're given 10 TNT per life, which you can just basically place down exactly like the Creeper, and you're also given a, a wood sword with sharpness one knockback. I think just sharpness one actually. So, yeah, um, and no special abilities. Zombie. Iron Shovel with, I 
think sharpness one, knockback one, maybe sharpness two, I don't know. Um, and that's basically it. Cactus, sharpness one, knockback one, wood sword. With thorns, it's also given thorns. So yeah. And then Blaze shoots fireballs from the bow infinitely, and you're also given sharpness one, knockback one, fire aspect one, blaze run. Skeleton punch two bow, I think, um, and you can shoot infinitely with that, and you are also given a bone with, I think, just knockback one, I think. I don't know for sure. Um, I'll just skip over here to pig. Pig, a lot like squid, given a raw pork chop with like sharpness three, knockback one, and it has a chance of giving nausea, but it has, it has constant speed. So it's actually more like spider. Um, and then of course there's flower, which is our custom um, default class, which is basically you're given three weapons. Um, one of them is a sharpness three grass block. Another is a sharp uh, knockback three um, yellow flower, which is kind of insane. And then a fire aspect one um, rose or poppy. Basically, it's it's like an way improved version of flint and steel class if you've ever seen that on on mine caves super craft brothers that's basically what it is so it's it's more of a like figure out which to hit the enemy with combo type of class all right so that's all the classes in super Q brothers i'll let you guys take a look at them for yourselves by joining the server and all that that's basically a newcomer's guide for the um Super Cube Brothers. I will just go in the game real quick to show you guys the new kit for all you guys who have already been in the game before in Super Cube Brothers. This is it. You get spawned in here. Oh, 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 thank god I, I didn't forget this. Also, items spawn around the map. So basically, there's a spawner on every map. It'll spawn items everywhere for you to be able to pick up and try to improve your gameplay chances against your opponent. Like a god apple, or a hammer, or whatever, or a bomb, which instantly kills people. Right. <laughs> All right. Um, and yeah, so that this is basically it. This is the TNT class, by the way. Oh, I forgot. TNT has blast protection on all of its armor as well. <laughs> Just to let you know. And then also, this is like this is what Creeper does as well. Yeah, that's basically what TNT is. <laughs> It's a nuke class, basically, um, but you gotta be able to time your TNT blazings and get your enemies to run into them. I saw a hammer over there, but yeah. And then also the double jump feature, I'll show you that right now. Double tap space, and you'll you'll double jump over whatever you... Um, basically, just jump, and then jump, and then tap space twice. That's, that's how you double jump. Alright? So, yeah, that's... Uh, that is Super Cube Brothers. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, newcomer's guide video, especially if you're a newcomer. Come ahead and come on with a friend, see how well you do on the game. We'd love to have new players on here to test it out. And yeah, guys, that is it for the guide. I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.